Hey everyone, thanks for joining me in today's episode of Super Smooth's Test It, Fix It, and Run It, where I take one of my locomotives that's been sitting around and I test it, and if necessary, fix it, and I'll definitely run it. So let's see what today's locomotive is. Hey everybody. Well, what I have today is kind of interesting. It is a new old stock GG1 commemorative edition of Conrail's 4800 Spirit of 76. This is a limited run, and it's kind of weird they didn't make it 1776 or 4800. Yeah, it's kind of a bizarre number, but uh, first thing out is this list of authorized retailers, and apparently I guess they might be able to act as at least uh, repair centers or collection centers, and I've looked at these before, and I've always kind of gone through and tried to see if I recognize any. I wonder if any of you are in the hobby earlier would recognize any of this. Uh, hmm, I wonder, wonder where my father would have went. I go to Ohio here, and are there any in the Dayton? Yeah, Dayton Model Railways. I wonder if that's somewhere he went. I actually know where 1318 Wayne Avenue is. At least I know about where that is. So I guess that's somewhere he would have gone. Maybe even took me when I was young, something like that. I don't know. I wonder how many of these are still in existence. All right, let's pull it out. So let's see. Now, this is a limited edition run, but um, River Rossi, I guess via AHM, made these, and you can get them in non-commemorative packaging. I mean, you can just buy ones in the float and they don't come with all this stuff. But again, this is new old stock, so none of this has been used or looked at. Uh, oh, but maybe they'll honor this thing. It'll cost you 250 if you know you want to get this repaired. I don't I don't think they'll honor this anymore. I've got a feeling about that. But all right, fair enough. Very cool. What is the next piece of literature in here? It's the parts Diagram, definitely a lot less complicated than parts diagrams I'm seeing now. And let's see, oh, they have an example here. Oh, HOville, but you can tell this was a more innocent time because that could be interpreted somewhat differently. 47734, that's certainly not California, is it? All right, well, let's see what else is in here. Uh, it's amazing, the foam isn't even deteriorating. This thing was kept in very, very good conditions foam. I, I don't even see it crumbling in any way. Let's see what we've got here. This is a nice little envelope. Everything is in great shape. It's not even really yellowing. Okay, so this is $13.90. It said that on the box. Get yourself a cool little certificate. And I don't know how they came up with 2700 It's kind of an odd number, right? If I double it, I don't get 4800 And I well, maybe somebody knows. And I don't know who those people are. Looks like a doctor, however, is signing for River Rossi. But, oh, very nice. Very nice, okay. Let's see what else is in here. Okay. Oh, uh, that's the belt buckle. Actually, that's very cool. It actually has the number of this thing. Wow, look at that. It's gonna cut the heck out of your gut. Wow, 1390, well, that's pretty neat. I don't know who would actually wear this as a buckle. If anybody did, if anybody did, let me know. And this is made by who? Oof, boy, that the missing letter could make a huge difference. Make a very, very big difference. I wonder if we can see who Hoover's. That's not where my brain went to originally, but okay, fair enough. Very, very nice. And this has never been out of here, as you can tell. It's still completely pristine. I like it. Okay, let's go ahead and get to the thing itself. It's probably been touched. At least somebody's probably gone in here at one time. I at least touched this thing, but of course I haven't. I just opened it. Very nice. Get this out of the way for you there. Very nice. A very nice job on this, and I doubt this differs in any way from the non-commemorative versions that you can find. Looks, looks like the coupler came off there, but actually, man, it actually looks like they put some real effort into this. It's a nice printing. Everything is crisp and clean. Not a super amount of 
information in the Eagles, but I'm not sure what the original one looked like. I'll have to go look that up. Nice truck detail. I actually have a few of these in the more commonplace liveries, but this one, yeah, this one kind of tops things a little bit. It's a little bit garish, but uh, it's certainly, it's certainly different. I like it. Apparently the real prototype has a very interesting history because it is the prototype for the GG1. It was the first built in 1934 and it was named Old Rivets because it was the only one of these that have a riveted body instead of a welded one. And it ran for Pensy for quite a while, but then became part of the Conrail family. It looks like it stayed at least working for a fair amount of time. I can't believe it was actually running with an E60. Very, very cool. And it looked like from the photos that, in fact, the Eagles are not really filled in on the prototype either. Because I don't want this thing's trucks flailing all over the place. Because, uh, you know, it's a GG1 and everything's just articulated. I'm going to leave this in the box and show it to you. And it is new old stock. Let's see. Let's pop this out of here. And I can see that the wheels are clean. Everything's clean. Yeah, it looks like a coupler came off, though. I just kind of put this down so you can see the top of it. What a very, very nice model. And these pantographs are active, so you can uh, actually draw power through them if you want. If you're wondering if this thing is DCC-able, it is. I actually have a video on how to work with the motors that are in here if you're going to DCC them. Their amperage draw is a little bit high, but if you use a 2-amp chip, and uh, I, you know, ones from Soundtrack should work, use their uh, soundtracks for electric and i read somewhere that eventually they're supposed to be coming out with another soundtracks for electric that actually has the gg1 sound although i'm not entirely sure how they did that maybe they had some recordings or something like that and could synthesize it or clean the recording up enough um, but that's supposed to be coming out but i saw that rumor and it's somebody from the company that actually wrote it said he was working on it oh check that out it actually has yeah, that's pretty cool. It actually has a numbered version on the bottom. Very nice. Well, if you get one of these, you decide to pay the premium to get one, you are going to get a model that they took a pretty fair amount of time in making sure would be something you could collect. Traction tires, they look like they're in great shape. They ought to, because I don't think this has ever been run, except maybe they tested it in the factory, something like that. Very, very nice. Well, I, I can tell this thing's probably going to run. If not, it may have some stiction, but I think we're in very good shape here with this. So I'm just going to go and put it on the track. Why don't you head downstairs with me and we'll see how this goes. All right, plop it on the track. Let's give it some power. Absolute butter. Wow, that's really nice. This is a nice running model. It works as if it were brand new because it is brand new. How cool is that? Normally I don't spend this long on a model that works, but this one deserved a little bit of extra attention. So I hope you enjoyed it. Did any of you see this thing in real life? I'd certainly be interested in hearing stories about that. Uh, I was young at this time and I don't, I don't think I would remember it if I did see it, but if you did, hey, tell me about it. Where and when were you? I want to know. Do you have this model or do you have maybe the Williams model, I think, or the Kato model? I make them in different scales, but thanks for joining me. This one was a lot of fun and I appreciate you watching. If you want to help me out, I'd really appreciate it if you would like and uh, you know, leave a comment. That helps the algorithm and so does subscribing. If you want to help me pay the bills, I'd appreciate it if you would take a look at my description and purchase from one of my sponsors. There's even a coupon down there that'll help you do that. Also, if you want to help me find kind of cool things like this, I have a list that uh, has everything I'm kind of looking for in it. It's also down in the description, so please click on that. I'll give you a running session here in a second to where you can watch this going around without me blabbing. But hey, take care, stay safe, happy model railroading, and again, thanks for being here. See you soon.